taking off the studded tires to go on a biking adventure. All right, we think we have everything. Adventure day, headed out to Port Angeles, do some mountain biking for the first time. What are we thinking we're gonna be doing? We're gonna go to the dry hill area and I don't really know what we'll ride. We're gonna ride up and then down maybe Queens something and King something. It should be a fun little excursion exploration trip. After selling the van, we are very antsy to get out and do some things. So this will be the first trip after selling it. And as you can see, we're car riding and Airbnb in until the van's ready in a few weeks. The new van is ready in a few weeks, but let's go and have some mountain biking fun and see what we can get ourselves into. Woohoo! Any good bike trip out this way includes a stop into the Cutter's Coffee, as you guys have seen. It's our regular coffee stop on the way out here. Got our goods here. Coffee, and we got a bagel. Because mm. we are post fast, that's something we haven't talked about. But we just did the fasting mimicking diet, which is a five day fasting diet thing. And we, so we're eating for the first time essentially real food. Oh, it's amazing. So good. <laughs> Coffee. What'd we get? A Reuben and a Monty and a. <laughs> at Toga's Soup House in Port Angeles. Well, those sandwiches were delightful. You should definitely <laughs> stop in if you're in the area. Oh, so good. They were very tasty. Yum. Hopefully we can ride now. We're going straight, <laughs> straight to the trail. So. Could be a little bit, bit of a gut bomb. <laughs> Oops. Uh, this is the dry hill trail system and uh, we're gonna explore a little bit. We're not, we've never been here first time, so we're gonna see what there is to offer. Yeah, let's do it. Turns out we missed the climbing trail, so we're climbing up the road, which you can do as well. But the start of the climbing trail is behind the podium, we were just advised. We'll look for it next time. Yeah. Riding the White Knuckle Trail for the first time. I haven't really ridden a trail for a little while, so could be a little bit rusty. Mostly just jump lines. Cool so far though. Is there something going on this weekend? Yeah, we have a shuttle. Shuttle weekend Saturday. Yeah, so tomorrow and Sunday. What does shuttle weekend mean? Oh, we just run our U-Haul truck for uh, 200 lucky people a day. I mean, there's steep techy stuff in the middle here, like Recluse to Chunderdome. That's a steep tech thing. If it was me, I'd go do one liner. Okay. And then the next run, if you want something steeper, just stay towards the middle. Following Emily down one liner. Talking to the GoPro.
Woo! Yeah. That was pretty steep for a boil. Yeah. Steep and narrow. Yeah, that was really fun. I was trying to emulate Dangerous Dave because he rides so well on the downhill. So I was thinking about kicking my knees out and really moving and utilizing my lower body as well as my upper body. Yeah, I was trying to think about bending my knees more and getting low and leaning into the turns or pushing my bike into the turns still climbing and this trail has got some punchy stuff on it it is making us wish that we had e-bikes right now which is just saying that we haven't been riding bikes enough to make the climbs feel good but <laughs> i'd be lying if i didn't tell you that having an e-bike would have felt really good on that last <laughs> switchbacky climb this is nice though Slamming some you can energy, which is our preferred energy on the trail. If you guys check out the link down below, you get an extra discount on any discounts or anything they have on their site. It's a specific link, and we love this stuff. It gives you longer lasting fuel than almost anything else out on the market. So check it out. It's good stuff. So we're going to go on Wayne's World, and then there's going to be a split and we're gonna stay right under Rusty McLeod's. Okay. And it should be right up here. So we were told to ride this by a trail builder here, which I don't think he would have told us to ride it if it was supposed to be not open. We're gonna go for it. Ooh, see how that would be fun. All right, to Rusty McCloud. <laughs> Need to ride this guy a few times to get a feeling for it. It seems rad.
this is fun. And this is so cool. Blue Mystery Trail. Cap Town Lower Pro. Almost want to OTB a little bit. Well, that was very fun, especially that second lap. Welcome to the Secret Garden. Home for the night. Nice little cozy place. That's just 
what we need. Day number one of riding out here at Port Angeles. Really cool trails and we're very excited to be back on the bikes. I felt incredibly rusty on the first lap. Second lap felt way better and just so happy to be back on my bike. Yeah, it was really fun to be back on the bikes and the dirt was in really great shape. They were really fun trails. Um, I definitely felt out of shape and a little tired and rusty as well, but it was really fun. And now we're tucked in for this night at the Airbnb. And we'll go ride some more tomorrow. Woohoo! Our bike storage situation at the Airbnb. We got squeezed by Joe's bike to get to the bathroom. Better to have them inside though. Good thing we bought this cookie earlier. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> From Toga's Soup House, it's actually quite tasty. Very buttery. Yum. Yum.